Okay, first off, I've got, I wasn't planning on doing a vlog today, but I've got way too much stuff to talk about. There's too much on my mind. First off, what's on my mind is this guy called Vsauce. He's here on YouTube, so you might run into him. He's awesome. Go check him out. I'll put you a link down below for you. Another thing is jogging. I decided I was going to do some exercising today and try to jog to a nearby restaurant. It's about three blocks off campus. Campus itself is, from the dorms, is probably about a block. Okay, I know I'm out of shape. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have been this out of shape. Okay, I worked my butt off this summer picking up sticks for my dad. I'm not talking about little twigs that fall off the trees. I'm talking about tree sticks, like the whole entire flipping roll in because we had chopped down some trees to clear some path for our, one of our fields. That should have done something. That should have something, but it didn't. It didn't. I felt like it did nothing. I felt like it made me even more out of shape. I don't know how that's flipping possible. I was jogging, trying to jog to there, and for you off campus, you won't know how far this is, or for you who have no clue where the hell I'm at, you won't know what this is. But I got past the MU. The MU and the dorms are rather close together. But, I don't know how to explain this in distance. I wouldn't say they're blocked, that's too bad. I've always been bad at judging distances. But, it's about the length of a really long building, like a, like a dorm complex, I guess I say. I didn't start from the very beginning of the dorm complex to the other side. But I started like midway. Imagine a motel or a hotel or something like that. It's about that distance. Anyways, I stopped, but not because my legs were killing me. If my legs were killing me, I probably could have handled it. I stopped because I felt like someone had grabbed my heart and started squeezing. This is what I like to call my heartburn. I don't think heartburn's supposed to be this bad and it's supposed to happen this way. I don't know. Maybe a lot of exercise doesn't happen that way. I usually get heartburn when I get really hot or whenever I have to go to the bathroom. Number two normally. And that usually helps it if I cool myself down or go to the restroom. Today I just felt like I couldn't do anything. I went and got myself a bubble tea from Ruiz. By the way, if you haven't had Terra bubble tea before, have some. It is amazing. I love it. Anyways, back to my topic. I went and had some Terra bubble tea and the Terra bubble tea cooled me down a little. And it was nice and cold outside when I stopped running. But I still had, I felt like someone was going to rip my heart out. It finally went away like heartburn normally does, but I feel like I shouldn't have heartburn like this. I'm only 23, yet I've had my gallbladder removed to gallstones, and ever since then I've had heart, frequent heartburn, and I've tried millions of things to get rid of it, and it just doesn't work. <sighs> Anyways, another topic. On my way back to campus, I decided to stop down at, uh, stop at the, excuse me, stop at the water fountain to have a, to eat just because I didn't feel like going all the way back to the dorms and it was nice outside. While I was sitting there and I got done eating, I decided to call my dad. In the middle of a conversation with my dad, I looked over and the squirrel had poked its head not just, just a few feet away from me, probably about the distance, well, the distance to the end of my bed, which you can't really see, but I can see it, so. <laughs> Anyways, and it just stood there and stared at me. And it was between these rocks that the fountain was made of. And I thought to myself, OMG, I need my camera now. I almost hanged up on my dad just to take a picture of it. And to blame it on a dropped call. It was one of those moments where oh, you really wish you had a camera on you, but you didn't. Another thing is squirrels here on campus are very hard to take pictures of, yet they're very social. They don't go away very far. I've even heard rumors that they've attacked people before. I've never seen a rabbit squirrel. But, still. So I was like, ah, and a little irritated I didn't have my camera on it. But it's moments like these that you're kind of happy you don't have a camera on it because it's a moment just for you. Like this one time when my complicated relationship and my and I were down in, at, down in the campus woods and we were sitting by the river that flows down there and we were looking at pictures on his camera and we both looked up and this 
goose goes flying that inches away from her face by. It was amazing. It would have been an awesome photo. But I'm kind of happy that I didn't get a photo of it because it's a moment just for me and him that we could share together. Though I don't know if he views it like that. Another thing I noticed is on my way back I had to go through the offset in the building where I came in just because A, I didn't feel like taking the stairs after the jogging incident and B, the elevator closest to my room was down. Mm, yay for that. But on my way back I passed some windows and looked out at Campus Lake and noticed it was more green than usual. The Campus Lake has its rumors like giant turtles and if you go into it you'll come out of it mutant as a mutant. But it was strangely green, but it wasn't a nasty green. It was this really pretty bluish green color. But it was weird for it to be on A, the lake, and B, in Kansas of all places. Kansas aren't known for having pretty lakes. We're brown. It's rare to find a lake that isn't brown, even a, uh, a human made lake. Our lake at my place, our pond at my home is human made, and it's still brown as could be something that irritates my complicated relationship because he's from Oklahoma and they have clear water. And another thing I was thinking about, I was sitting outside when I was eating I saw that a girl who had been walking a dog had sat down to take a cigarette smoke. And I was curious, if humans can get cancer through secondhand smoking, can dog animals get cancer? It was just something I was curious about. Is it possible for any type of animal to have cancer? Because they breathe the same way we do, so why shouldn't they get cancer? I don't know. I'll leave that question to you guys. Anyways. Oh, another thing. DA. This is Demon Art for those who are unfamiliar with it. It's a website where artists go of any sort. Photography, drawing, um, writing. And they can upload their work for others to see. I am currently working on uploading a photo that I took of a X made by Jets in the Sky and it's taking forever to upload. This is not only the first time but the third time this has happened to me. The other two times was when I was opening up, uh, loading up moving pictures, big moving pictures. So I expected it to take long but this one's just a picture. It's a pretty big size picture but it's still just a picture. It shouldn't take this long. Especially since I started uploading it last night and it's only at 61%. It should at least be further along and or done by now. Another thing I started wondering about. Vsauce has a habit of, he does videos that are informative. And he always says, you, 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 you. And I've always wondered how weird other people feel when they're talking to their camera. Like, I keep on looking down at it because I'm looking at the screen that my face is on. Screen right about there. It's, there's my hand, that's where my camera is, there's my screen. So I keep looking down at my screen to talk to myself more so, because it seems weird to talk to a camera and be like, you, you, you. I've always found, I haven't been vlogging very long, but I feel it's awkward. Do you guys feel it's awkward? If you do, you can talk about it. Anyways, that's about all I've got right now, I've kind of run out of thoughts. Back to my, you're probably wondering why I'm not doing a... Um, my question vlog, like I talked about in my last vlog. This is because I just had too much on my brain today. I'm going to start the question vlog tomorrow and then hopefully I'll do it all week. I had some people ask me on Facebook some questions, very random questions, but nobody's asked you on here and I'd like to continue getting your questions if you want answers. If you don't then I'm screwed. Eh, I wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> um, uh, I had something else and lost it. I don't remember what I was saying. Well, I remember what I was saying. I don't remember what I was going to say. Because I had something else I was going to say and I don't remember what. Oh! <laughs> Wait long enough to remember. The rain you hear in the background, it's not actually raining outside. It's actually really nice. It's like super nice weather. Like the perfect weather temperature. Well, according to my screen, oh, my internet's out, so I can't tell you yet. Fix it, now I can tell you. According to my weather center, it is currently, 
I need a new internet cord. My internet cord keeps falling out and doesn't stay in. So it becomes a pain in the butt. Let's see if I can get this to work. It says it's 49 degrees outside. That doesn't sound really nice, but it's nice. For some reason, colder weather has been feeling nicer to me than it used to. Or I used to hate cold weather, but it's been really nice winter this year, but it was pretty bad on our pecan grove at home. Anyways, what you were hearing instead is a website called rainymood.com. If you ever get in one of those moods where you just wish it was raining, but it's too nice outside to be for it to rain, go to this website and then play rain. Yep, they'll just keep playing it and playing it and playing it. It's actually nice because I actually like listening to rain. I like using it to calm my nerves and stuff. I even get a new clock that has different rain-like sounds on it. Well, nature sounds. It's got like thunder and rain and I think it's got a rainforest. And other stuff like that. And I never knew there was a website that involved just rain. And I this is something I learned from Vsauce. I also learned some other things I can't remember at the moment. So I guess it, <coughs> I learned them but they're not in the top of my head. He has an awesome site about the mines. Uh, he has an awesome playlist about the mining stuff you should probably also check out too. It's pretty neat. So anyways, that's all for today and I'll, I'm going to start my question thing uh, vlog tomorrow. So if you have a question, ask. Bye.